all you sports fans out there in the tubal sphere. Welcome to the One Man Sports Rant. Duh. I am your host, Will, the alternative ESPN, or in this case NBC, Sports Thrill. Bringing you our Olympics only format for the next week or so. Okay. So I'm going to sound like Tank here, Neil's operator. Got to go through all this boring program stuff. Boring! It's kind of combat training. And as much as I'd like to do that, we do have to go through the legal disclaimer. This show is copyright to the OMSR with brief video highlights courtesy to NBC and the IOC. And it is covered by the DCA and, the, and or the DMCA, Digital Copyright Act, and falls within the definition of the fair use standard and or derivative. Now, what do I mean by that? This sh I do not own the video highlights. But the concept and the content on a whole, and the original content therein, we do. So that is copyright to the OMSR. All right, so enough about all that. I have to apologize for the last couple of shows, and especially uh, this one. We had a little white balance snafu on the plasma, so the cameraman tells me. Went too far to the wrong side of the baseline and created a distortion effect. So he says. Hopefully in the next couple of shows that's adjusted now. It sounds like a eureka explanation. So forgive me, there, you will see a slight distortion in tonight's video highlights because the original was filmed that way. There's, there's no way to fix it. And I'm, I'm going to work on the hand puppet theater. Too much of this going on. Uh, I did drink a pitcher of tea each day on the last couple of shows. Today, only half a pitcher, so hopefully you know, I can tone it down a little. And uh, I also did quit drinking for a while, just going to take a break from alcohol, so my natural intensity and energy has, has come back. Kind of reminds me why I was drinking half the time in the first place. Keep me mellow. Okay, enough about all that silliness, so you understand where we're coming from. Alright, so what is the OMSR Gen 2.0? Well, in Generation 1, we had 200 shows, we covered a lot of college football, college basketball, NBA, the, the Winter X Games, the first backwards snowmobile flip, that was really cool. You know, Baylor's Heisman Trophy, I could go on and on and on. West Virginia's high score in BCS Bowl game, how LSU got shut out in the rematch versus Alabama for the national championship, UConn's run with Kim Walker in the tournament, and so forth. And that wasn't easy to do. The reason being is I got dinged by the NFL, LLC, there in New York. I spoke with the gal, told me flat out that they do not give permission for anyone to show any NFL highlights. And they never will, so don't go there because they'll find you. She runs the division. That's all they do all day is look for videos on all the social networking sites. So that was that. I said, well, forget this. I'm going to start over with a clean slate. Unfortunately, all the videos from Generation 1 were not migratable, overable, toable. Gen 2.0, so I had to start over. Wasn't sure I was necessarily going to do this again, but the Olympics sort of fired me up. And. So that's that. Unfortunately, you do have to listen to me, or fortunately, maybe, depending on your viewpoint. This is a sports talk show, mainly, after all, so you do have to listen to me for about, on average, seven to ten minutes. Beauty of that, though, is you do get a little bit longer of a video clip. There's tons of one to two minute video clips all over YouTube that I've seen for the last two years. That's not the goal of this show. And uh, so I'm not going to be kept up at night for not a lot of hits. Thumbs down, thumbs up. Reviews are not going to keep me up at night. This may not be your cup of tea. I did tell you, you know, you could, you can fast forward to the video highlights for tonight. But at, based on the aforementioned, the DCA and all of those stipulations that were hashed out via the WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, it's just not possible. That ship is sailed where you're going to try to piggyback on totally 100% someone else's content vis-a-vis -vis the networks that show sports, that ship is sailed. It's just not going to happen anymore, which is why all these other clips are one to two minutes long. At least to get a little bit more of a highlight reel, still brief, within the end, a little bit of sport talk. That's why you would watch, because we do get to the heart of the matter. It is an OMSR specialty to show the highlights that were pertinent to the particular sporting subject that is being discussed on each show without too much talk. So you're, you are going to hear some analysis that you won't see on any other network. Alright, so enough about all that. Today's highlights, we're talking about 
How Karate and Pistorius, what a great feel-good moment that was, the 400 meters. Bionic Man from South Africa. It's got to be the feel-good story of the Olympics. I don't think that will be topped. And typically I like to go through a uh, carryover from Generation 1, the life rant sports rant of the day. I, I just can't do it. I can't find it. Grenada just won their first medal ever in the Olympics to karate. And after Storyth had that great exchange at the end of the, the last semifinal, or was it the first? Can't recall. And then Karate went on to win it. So God bless the core. That was so cool. The other clip that you'll see, they talk about they still celebrate on Grenada. You know, how the core came in and, and sort of basically saved that island's butt. So it's more of a life affirming, sports affirming moment. I, I have no sport rant to rail on, given the subject matter of this particular sport highlight that we are discussing, it just wouldn't be right. One of my best buds here in SoCal, you know, he was a platoon leader in Grenada, first Louis, and uh, he still can't talk about it to me because his platoon, thus the company and all the companies in the battalion probably, they were one of the few that actually saw full-on war action there in Grenada. You know, a lot of you may not know how it went down in 1983, but a lot of units, they, they didn't see hardly any action at all. Others did. So, yeah, God bless the court. Grenadians are still grateful for that. Very cool. They win their first medal. That's a two-minute warning, so I don't go around time. Very cool indeed. They won their first medal. And Alexander Pistorius, you know, that's probably the, the Olympics of the future that we're seeing there. Thank you. Got the time going here. Got about a minute left. All right, so thanks for watching. I'd like to close out with a couple catchphrases from Generation 1. Uh, no silly DUIs while you're out there celebrating your country or your preferred sport. So without further ado, we bid adieu to Eddie, Iron Maiden's mascot. So you heard from Iron Maiden, the trooper. I figured that was the perfect musical lead to for all of our Olympic shows because every athlete and Every sport, every venue has been a trooper to get to this point in, in any Olympics. And I'd like to give out a trooper award on each and every show. So this show's trooper award goes out to both karate teams and their Pistorius. Right on. Okay. So again, thanks for watching. No silly DUIs. You know, alcohol and sports, they are joined at the hip. Okay. Later days and mo more Olympic plays. to all of us, and I'll repeat that memorable phrase that he told me, being disabled doesn't have to be a disadvantage. My goal was to make the semi-final and I was able to do that, it was just absolutely mind-blowing being on to it, so thank you very much. We saw something we've never seen before, an athlete exchanging bids, karate change exchanging with you. What did that mean to you? I think, you know, if, if you look at the, the kind of lifestyle we live, we're all together every week. 
for four or five months of the year in hotels. And uh, we share a life that's, you know, very similar. We all train hard. We're fierce competitors when we step out on the track. There are very few words that are said between the athletes in the call room two hours before the, the race. But it just epitomizes what the Olympic movement is about. And he's such a true sportsman. You know, he's all game when he's on the track. And as soon as he crosses the line, he's a humble, uh, decent athlete like many other people here. So that was just really humbling to me. And, you know, got many friends out here that I, it's kind of difficult to watch and support all of them. And I'm, I'm sure tomorrow in the final there's going to be a, a very strong uh, contingency of guys that are not only great people on the track, but off the track true gentlemen as well. Thanks, Tom. Karani James win the first ever medal for Grenada and it's gold. He just became the first non-American to ever break 44 seconds in the 400 meter dash. The Spice Island will celebrate huge tonight because Karani fashion, the first ever for his country, Grenada, which has been following his progress proudly. And Tom, Karani James did not leave this until the final hunt, and he made sure he had a lead. He might have been concerned about the finish of Santo, who always finishes well, but he was never, ever challenged in this race, and he becomes the second youngest winner ever at the Olympic Games. Steve Lewis of the United States won gold at 19 in Seoul, South Korea in 1988. Karate James winning decisively in the 400 meters to claim Olympic gold. Karani referencing his coach, Harvey Glantz, who himself was a Olympic gold medalist in the relay and also was his coach at Alabama. 43.94 the gold medal time, Santos the silver and Gordon the bronze. And so in Grenada, where they celebrate the intervention of U.S. troops in the Reagan era, they have something else to celebrate tonight on the Spice Island. Karani James wins the Olympic 400 meters, the country's first Olympic medal ever. Now let's go to...